All right, we need to clear up a few things and even dispel a few rumors that are going around. There are some items that maybe it might be a little bit confusing as to what is and what isn't banned on a cruise and when you travel. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now on this channel, I talk a lot about what to pack for a cruise and even sometimes what not to pack for a cruise, including some popular items that make really good cruise travel hacks. Well, recently I've been seeing a comment that comes up again and again, where people are genuinely wondering if this is something they cannot bring on a cruise and there is a specific reason why. Now in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to address that rumor. I'm gonna give that information that I have been, by the way, answering individually, comment after comment after comment. It's happened so often over the last few weeks that I thought I really do need to address this in this video. But I'm also gonna talk about some other items, some other things that people think maybe they shouldn't bring on a cruise or maybe it's not allowed on a cruise. And there is potentially a little bit of truth to this. So I thought I'd also clear up some confusion, answer some frequently asked questions and explain the rules. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Okay, I don't wanna leave you hanging. So let's first talk about magnet hooks. And really the reason that some people say you cannot bring magnet hooks on a cruise. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, magnet hooks are really a genius cruise hack. So a lot of cruisers use this. And basically because cruise cabin walls are usually metal, what you can do with the magnet hooks is that you can put them on the wall and you can use them as extra vertical storage to hang a baseball cap, to hang a jacket, to hang a backpack. You know what I mean. So these are really handy, but some people are saying there's a reason that you are not allowed to bring them on a cruise. And that is because they are seeing on the box of magnet hooks or on the instructions that you are not allowed to fly with them. Now I've answered this question again and again, and I've looked up the answer. So I'm gonna show it to you here on the screen. I have checked the TSA website. And of course, depending on where you're flying to or from, you may wanna check other websites. But what I see is that magnets are allowed on airplanes. They're allowed in a carry-on bag. They're allowed in checked bags. And the only thing that I can think about, and of course this is not legal or travel advice, so in the end you do what you want and you feel comfortable with and you check for yourself. But the only thing I could think of is that perhaps in large quantities, the magnets shouldn't be shipped by air and that might be why. So maybe this has to do more with the manufacturer or even the retailer than it really does with individuals. But on the TSA website, it shows that this is allowed. And on all of the cruise line websites, I've never seen that this is a problem. Okay, now I hope that that clears things up a little bit, but now I am gonna talk about six more items that people do have a lot of questions about. I have checked the cruise line websites. I have done some research into this. So I hope that these are gonna help you out with some of the questions that a lot of people do have. So let's talk about heated hair tools. Now on the cruise line websites, you're often going to see that electric heated items like coffee pots and rice cookers. I know it sounds a little bit funny, but there are things that you cannot bring on a cruise like this. But what you can bring on a cruise, most of the time you'll see it in the exceptions portion of the rules on the cruise line website is that you can actually bring hair straighteners, hair dryers, and hair curlers. Now, of course, check your own cruise line website, but most of the time, the place that you're going to find this information is in the exceptions. The TSA liquid rules. Now this can be very confusing, especially if you're flying to your cruise port or if you're used to flying. But the thing about cruises is what you can and cannot bring on a cruise ship is very different from what you can and cannot bring on a plane. So while you might have some rules as to the quantity of liquids that you can bring on a plane, in particular in your carry-on bag, you just don't have those rules on a cruise ship. Now, of course there are other rules, but when it comes to full-size toiletries, even if you wanna put them in your carry-on bag, that's no problem. Now, speaking of liquids, there is a liquid that there's a lot of confusion around, and this is alcohol. Most cruise lines will allow you to bring wine on board in limited quantities. 
and as well to bring even soda on board in limited quantities. And again, check your cruise line website. But what you cannot bring on board is any hard liquor or any hard alcohol. And by the way, if you do bring things that aren't allowed, these typically are confiscated. Fans. Now there has been some confusion about whether or not you can bring personal fans to use in cruise ship cabins. And I think this might have come around because about a year ago there was a cruise line that banned fans on a cruise, but then pretty quickly they actually reversed course on that and they said small personal fans are allowed. Now, of course, it's always up to security and to cruise ship personnel if anything is going to be confiscated. But this is a fan that I've actually started to bring on cruises. It is flat, so it doesn't take up a lot of room even in your cruise cabin. And what's pretty nice is it does have like this little stand, so it's pretty handy. Some people even say that they hang it from a hook on the ceiling or the wall. Now, by the way, I am going to leave all of the different items that I use and I recommend. I'm going to leave them linked down below in the description of the video in case you are interested in checking them out. But in any case, fans are allowed on most cruise ships. An over-the-door organizer. Now it almost never fails whenever I talk about the over-the-door organizer being a cruise hack that a lot of people use. And by the way, you do not need to purchase every cruise hack for your cruise, but many people love this. And inevitably somebody will say, you know what, cruise lines have banned over the door organizers. So no, they haven't. There is one cruise line, that is Disney, that says that you cannot hang an over the door organizer on your bathroom door or your closet door. And the reason is because it could cause damage. So that is something to remember, even for every cruise line, you do not wanna cause damage, but there is a trick that you can use. Instead, what you can do, and I'll just take these right here, is you can take these magnet hooks. You do wanna make sure they're quite strong. The ones that I use are about 100 pounds. And again, I am gonna leave the ones that I use and recommend down in the comments below. But you can hang these from the ceiling or even from the wall at the very top, and then you can hang your over-the-door organizer without worrying about damaging anything. By the way, please let me know if you're pro or con over-the-door organizer down in the comments below. A power bar or a power strip. Now, this is actually not allowed on cruise ships unless it is non-surge protected. And cruise lines are pretty strict about this. Now, the one that I use more recently is this small power cube. It is non-surge protected, so it should be allowed on all cruise ships to my knowledge. And what I like about this one though, is not only do you have your electric outlets and it complies to the cruise rules, but you also have your USB-A and your USB-C outlets. And in this case, this little part here, you can see it's foldable, so it just doesn't take a lot of room. And it takes about the same space as a small travel adapter, which is permitted on cruises. Now for something that's not a thing, but is still a question that's asked quite a lot and people are confused about, can I drink the water on a cruise ship or do I need to purchase the water bottles from the cruise line or a package that includes water? So you can drink the water on a cruise ship. It's actually safe, it is desalinated, it is filtered, right on the cruise ship. And what a lot of people do is bring a refillable water bottle. So we bring this as well, and you can refill it at like one of the water stations. That's typically what we'll do. I don't usually drink the water from the bathroom, but I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. Now in another video, and I will leave that linked at the end of this one, if you like, but I did talk about that some people say that when they drink the water on a cruise ship, that maybe they've experienced swelling in their legs. Now, even when I mentioned that in the video, this is what happens to some people. And who am I to say that it doesn't happen? Because anecdotally, it has happened to them. But for most people, this is not something that happens. And I don't really think that drinking the water in a cruise ship is a problem. Now I am gonna leave all of the items that I talked about down in the description below this video in case you are interested in them. And as well, I'm gonna leave that video that I talked about right after this one in case you do wanna check it out, but I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know any of the questions that you have. Please let me know your thoughts on any of these things down in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.